Hello and welcome. I'm Nicole Lotz. I'm a senior lecturer in design at the Open University. And today I'm talking to Professor Claudia Eckert. Claudia, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you come to the Open University? Okay. Hi, I'm Claudia Eckert. I'm a professor of design here at the Open University. I've come to the Open University 10 years ago. I've originally done my PhD at the Open University, then spent 10 years in Cambridge and then came back. What is your disciplinary background? Well, I studied math and philosophy and I've got a master in artificial intelligence and a PhD <laughs> in design. That's quite an eclectic mix, isn't it? It is an eclectic mix, but I'm making quite a lot of use, especially of the philosophy. So what kind of design problems interest you? I'm very fascinated by complex design problems, and I don't particularly care about what domain it is. So on the one hand, I study complex engineering problems like jet engines or, or trucks or diesel engines, but I've also done a lot of work on fashion and I did my doctoral research on knitwear design, because when you really boil it down to knitwear, it has got a lot of the same characteristics as aerospace design. And I've also studied buildings and complex building projects. How does knitting and engineering come together in your research? But both knitting and engineering are nonlinear systems and you get a whole lot of behavior out of a problem not being linear. And since people essentially don't grow larger when they grow fatter, knitwear is nonlinear. And you've got very similar behavior in things like aerospace design. And when you look at the processes by which things are designed, these properties of the product really affect the processes and you find astonishing similarities between them. And that's one of the things I'm also trying to research. All right, so tell me a little bit more about your research. I'm absolutely fascinated how people come together to design complex products because I think in life there are very few situations where you have got sometimes hundreds or thousands of people working on the same thing together and coming from these very vague ideas with all of these uncertainties to something that in the end moves or flies or really makes a difference and I find the coordination of all the people absolutely fascinating. Tell me about your most significant publication. I suppose the most significant publications for me was my first paper on engineering change. And I'm still very puzzled why this became such an influential paper. I was packed off to Westland helicopters who made military helicopters and realized, of course, that these are all designed by change from previous problems. And I started to look at these change processes and the structure in which complex products are modified from one product to the next. And this became a very, very influential paper because it defined the terminology around engineering change. Fascinating. What got you interested in design, Claudia? I think the real answer to this is because I knitted in my lectures that I, since I was a teenager, I knitted and I knitted in my lectures and did a master's in artificial intelligence. And my one of the lecturers said, why don't you do a master's thesis on AI and knitting? And I thought, you're crazy, no way. And then I ended up doing a master's thesis on it and also did a PhD on it. And I wanted to build an expert system for network designers. And then I thought, I actually have to build a useful expert system. So I needed to, to study how the designers worked and what their problems were. And that got me into studying design processes. And then I realized that I loved studying design processes and doing the mathematical end of the modeling of garment shapes to build an expert system was really not what I enjoyed. So I studied design processes ever since and never looked back. <laughs> Uh, we've talked a lot about design already, but what is design for you? 
in design is very difficult to define and we are all struggling with this. So I think it's one of those concepts a bit like love that you can't really define and has many, many nuances. But the design that I study is essentially the design of professionals designing complex systems. But there are so many other definitions as design, as the responses of the human made world to its needs and problems. Many, many thanks, Claudia. It was very interesting. Bye.